What's up guys? Bass Boys here. We're over here at Cheese Pine today again. We're gonna try to get some walleyes, some crappies, some bass. Hopefully walleyes and crappies, preferably. Someone's in my spot, of course. Walleye spot. Not too happy about it. Got here a little later, that's probably why. I guess we'll start out with this little crappie swim bait on a 116th ounce jig head. It's going to be on my light rod here. It's a St. Croix Legend Tournament Walleye Finesse Series. And then a Shimano Sahara 1006 pound braid or fluorocarbon. I'm going to stay here until close. See what we can do today. See if we can do any damage. Got my waders walking here. See if we can get anything done. We're getting into the fall pattern soon. The fishing should get better. Size of that thing. Look at that. Freaking huge. In my hand. Please. Monster gill. first big bluegill I caught here this year took to the fall until September I haven't caught one like that since last spring and that was it then we got another one hoping to find some more Godzilla side blue wheels. Godzilla. Crappie. 
Believe it or not, it's the first crappie I've caught for probably three months. It's been a while. Maybe we'll get the walleye next. This one's like black and silver. Fast walk here. Just about, I want to fish. It's starting to get dark. All right, well, made it over here in record time. Practically ran, walked. But here we are. We're gonna try. I'm gonna try the bass rod. Very similar to what I got on, but just bigger. It's a jackal bait, rhythm wag, they call it. And then I got a once, uh, or I think a three-eighth ounce uh, weedless jig head. I'm going to try this. Just in case we find a big walleye, I'd rather be using this rod. It's a medium power, seven foot three. Same kind of rod, Legend Tournament from St. Croix. A little Stratic, 10 pound braid. And on this one, I got a fluorocarbon leader, which I really don't know if I believe in. Just <laughs> happens to be on there. Hopefully, it doesn't break off. Get this bait on there better. I will say, though, I'm really happy to get that crappie. <laughs> Seems pretty dumb to be happy about just one but then that bonus bluegill too but we got to make something else happen here tell that the, the whole kind of atmosphere here has kind of changed. Kind of like out of nowhere. Just a couple weeks ago, maybe more like last week, it just felt so dead. You now I'm starting to see stuff on the surface. Fish just like came alive, seems like. They weren't touching nothing before. And the water was hot. I mean, it still can't be that cold. I'm standing in it right now. Last time we ranked them over this spot, right around now. It's getting dark. Getting all sorts of bites a few days ago. Haven't had one here yet. Might switch back over to that little swim bait. Crap swim bait thing. I 
sometimes they prefer the tiny things for some reason. Mosquitoes are going to be out here soon. I already got annihilated yesterday fishing. It's probably going to happen again. sunset here. Believe it or not though I haven't I think I've only put mosquito spray on one time this whole year. I'm always gonna go get some and then never end up getting it. So I honestly hate putting it on. Once it's on, you sit in your car, rest your arm on something, melt stuff. It's annoying. So I try not to put it on. Pretty disappointed though that that guy was in my spot to start, but I kind of expected it. There's like one other guy or a couple other people who know about the spot in the back. And it tends to be good once it starts cooling off worst part of it is I know they're taking the fish. They're taking them. I don't mind people taking fish. It's fine to take fish every once in a while. But you have some people that just are here consistently take them whenever they're here and they'll take as many as they want you know fishing in a place like this this is like a 20 acre little lake I could do some damage for sure major damage Just unfortunate that it happens. But I'm sure, I'm sure those of you watching already know what that's like. Probably happens by you. You're not getting any hits. Probably should have just stayed over there where I got the <laughs> bluegill and the crappie. This will be a little kind of a short video, but some signs of fall in the air, which is good. The bite is gonna it's gonna pick up here. Seems like, but yeah, we uh, last half I was just kind of walking around casting. But should have stayed over there, but yeah. That's it. <laughs> Wish there was more time, but it closes here in like five minutes, so I gotta get going. But if you like the video, hit the like button, subscribe. Thanks for watching. See you guys in the next video. Bye.